Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are going to start off the AP Calculus 2009 uh, free response section. So let's get into it. Note that in this section, the calculator was three questions. I don't know if they had changed the format back then, but so we're going to have three calculator free response questions and three non calculator. So let's start this. Karen rides her bicycle along a straight road from home to school, starting at home at time t equals zero minutes and arriving at school t equals 12 minutes. During the time interval, her velocity in miles per minute is modeled by the piecewise linear function whose graph is shown below, above. Find the acceleration of Karen's bicycle at times t equals 7.5 minutes and get units of measure. So this is velocity, and t equals 7.5 is here, so I want the slope here. This is the slope. It's equal to the change in y. Let's see, it's 0.2 minus 0.3 over 8 minus 7 and that's minus 0.1 over 1 that's minus 0.1 and the units of this are miles per minute squared okay using correct units explain the meaning of the absolute value in terms of Karen's trip and find that value okay um, the integral of the absolute value of velocity is total distance traveled. And the absolute value, it's positive this whole way except for down here. So the absolute value would be all of this. And to find um, this total, uh, the integral of this curve would be the area under the curve. So i got to find the area of each of these shapes. So let's see, this area is 2, t base is 2, height is 0.2, so this is 0.2. This looks the same, so it's also 0.2. This I'm going to cut up into uh, this triangle, this rectangle, and this trapezoid, and then this rectangle like that. So this is 1 by 3 halves, so this is 0.15. This is 0.3 by 1, so that's 0.3. I'm just doing the area, the width times the height. This I average the two heights, which is 0.25 times 1. This is 3 by 0.2, so that's 0.6. And this is 1 by 0.2, so that's 0.1. So the total area here would be um, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.55, 0 0.85, 1 1.1, 1 1.7, 1 1.8. 1.8 miles, which is the total distance traveled by Karen in 12 minutes. Shortly after leaving home, Karen realizes she left her calculus homework at home and she returns to get it. At what time does she turn around to go back home? Give a reason for her answer. Um, it looks like here, because at t equals 2, because her velocity goes from positive to negative. That's a change in direction, right? Because so she's going one way, that's positive. And then she starts going negative. That's the other way. That's turning around to go home. So t equals 2. The velocity changes. Larry also rides his bicycle along a straight road from home to school in 12 minutes. His velocity is modeled by the function this, where wt is in miles per minute. Who lives closer to school, Karen or Larry? Um, well, the distance that they are from school is their integral of v of t dt from 0 to 12. And so for Karen, it's this integral, which we haven't quite computed, but we have enough pieces of information. See, I need to exclude these 0.4, this, this 0.2 and this 0.2 that, because she kind of like traveled 0.2 miles and turned around and traveled 0.2 miles back. So this is not really, so here she kind of started from the beginning. Another way to think of it is this area cancels that area. And so then the remaining area is just 1.4 miles. And then Larry, 0 to 12, W of T, DT. And I'm going to use my Wabbit calculator for this. Hmm. 
For some reason it oh just turned off wow such a good emulator that actually turns off too auto auto turned off okay y equals so I, I got this thing because I decided I would show you guys how to use a very basic calculator some of you guys might have more fancy calculators but um, I figured uh, it doesn't hurt so we're gonna plot this function and we're gonna get the integral so let's let's find pi uh, pi is here so it's pi divided by 15 times the sine of pi over 12 times x it's gonna plot it but it's gonna be like super narrow so like let's let's window this correctly I at least want to go from 0 to 12 so I'll make that 0 12 and then the negatives like probably like negative 1 to 1 we'll scale that by like 0.1 Good enough. You could do this integral um, by hand. You don't need a calculator to do this. You could do this by hand, but we'll just show you the calculator. And now that I have it windowed, I want to calculate the integral. Lower limit, 0. Upper limit, 12. Beautiful. Perfect. 1.6. So Karen lives closer. And I did not pull up the let's see, 2000 AP calculus. The solutions yet, so let's take a look at the solutions. Alright, minus 0.1 miles per minute squared. That's correct. Total distance in miles at Karen Road during the 12 minutes, 1.8 miles. Goes back home. Because their velocity changed from positive to negative, it equals two minutes. Good. Larry lives 1.6 miles. Karen lives 1.4 miles. Therefore, Karen lives closer to school. Okay. Cool. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next free response question. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.